All I ever wanted to do was play football. To win, you've got to eat, sleep and breathe it. There's so many distractions. And people that take advantage. Yeah, I didn't come for much, but when I scored a goal, I didn't need anything else. When I played for under-15s, I first saw the professional players. They had our presence. We all looked up to them. They seemed to have it all. See, I wanted to be the best. I wanted what they had. And I nearly had it. But everything comes at a price. I was always first to training, last to leave. Nobody wanted it more me. But I wasn't flashy. I kept my head down and I grafted. I didn't think anybody took any notice, but then I got a message for an agent. See, I was only 17, but he said they could already see something special in me. I wasn't sure if I should tell my ma, my dad, my manager, but this guy was legit. He had a few boys I had heard a sign from. Aye, they're moving up fast. And I knew he wasn't bullshitting about how good I was. So we talked for a bit, back and forth. Agreed to meet. He turned up in the nicest motor I've ever seen. He us a five grand watch right here and then. I couldn't hide that from my old boy when I got up the road. And my dad said he was proud of his. I'm putting in the work to get noticed. I signed that day. And then my life changed. I'd snuck into pubs before, but not always with this guy. That was like something that I film. He'd pick me up after the game, he'd drive into town, best club, no cues, best booth, bottles of vodka, champagne. I don't even like champagne. But it was like a music video, wasn't it? He seemed to know everybody. And I got to meet all these people. People for our teams, bigger teams, and maybe one day I could play for. Some of them were a bit dodgy, drugs and that, but I wasn't taking any. He was looking out for us. I was on my way. Some of the boys said, watch out for him. Bad news. But they know. He was opening doors for me. Things were decent for a couple of years, but then he started to lose interest. He wasn't really taking me out of phoning as much. A new manager came to the club, stopped playing us. I needed him to get us transferred, but he wouldn't even answer my calls. I remember this one time, just on our Saturday, benched. I went to a pub, but I knew he'd be in, trying to get his attention. But he blanked us. I started getting a bit raging, though. And then two of his mad pals get holidays, flung us outside, tell us to leave, or he'd make me. Key does this lot. That was the first time I realised I was in deep with this boy. I needed to get my contract, but I didn't even know how. I was scared. I found out stuff about this guy that was worse than I thought. I'd seen the drugs and that, but I'd never actually realised how heavy he was into selling them. See, being a football agent was just a front, a cover. It made his business look legit. As long as he could get in with a few players, make his sale look good. See, the dancing, the motor, the watch, it was all just washing money. He didn't actually believe in me, or care. As long as he had a couple of other boys doing well, new boys, naive, like me. I felt pure stuck, man. Didn't want to tell my ma, my da, boys at the club. All I wanted to do was play football. I knew I wasn't even getting again. My confidence on the park suffered. So even when I did go on, I wasn't playing well. I wish I hadn't believed everything they told me. I wish I hadn't been blinded by all the money and that. I was only 17. I was just a boy. He kind of groomed us, man. And eventually, the club let us go. My agent done nothing to help me get signed. But all agents on the like him may still have to look out for you. I just didn't listen and I ignored all the signs. So I'm starting a lower league now, but at least I get a game. I put my future in the hands of a stranger who messaged me on social media, told me everything I wanted to hear. I just wish that I knew that everything comes at a price.